Yo, yo, what's up, what's up? It's the one and only hip hop gamer, Hot 97 Logitech G. I'm in between greatness. You see this, you know what I'm talking about? Now get ready for the PlayStation 5 review. Uh. All right, y'all, now look, the controller. This is the first part of the review. Why? Because I never played with anything like this before in my life, son. Like, facts. So, the first thing I want to tell y'all about the DualSense controller is that it feels great to hold. To me, it kind of makes me think about what Allen Iverson said, uh, where he took from Shaq. He took from Michael Jordan. Like, he took from so many different players, but still threw his unique spin to it, you know, especially with the crossover, you know what I'm saying? And became his own star, his own legend. And this is what the DualSense is. Like, ergonomically, I know I said that wrong. But anyway, like, when you feel the controller, it, if it has a little weight to it, but it feels even more comfortable than the DualShock 4 controller. But a lot of people would say it's, it feels like a slightly like an Xbox controller as well. So it has, like, the best of both worlds when it comes to it. But it still has its own unique feel to it. So... That's the first thing in terms of the feel. It feels great, period. Whether you're playing a shooter, fighting game, whatever, it feels amazing. That's the first thing. The second thing is what the controller does. This is absolutely the difference maker in next generation gaming, period. We all know about the SSD and everything else. We're going to talk about that. But this controller changes everything. So I'll give you an example. If you are playing a game like Call of Duty and let's say you pull the trigger when you pull the trigger and you shooting when you run out of bullets the trigger right here stays down it, do, it don't pop back up it stays down because there's no bullets so you got to reload and when you reload this pops back up and then you can shoot again that is ridiculous and then if you are and you know when you pull l2 and they like aim down the sights if you have a pistol and you pull l2 it's quick but if you got like a light machine gun and you pull l2 there's a little resistance so it takes a little more to to hold it up and then you shoot that is insane right that's one crazy major highlight if you play astro's playroom that come with every uh uh system when you walk on glass, it feels like glass, but it has these little taps. So it's not like just general rumble that you're used to. It has little like taps, like it's tapping on your hand no matter where you stand. And if you like stand on top of a fan, you hear the fan blowing, but because it's going in a circle of motion and sometimes you may feel things is like heavier on this side and lighter on this side and vice versa. It's crazy. And then the motion like you could do this and pick things up or you could go slow and hear things in the controller like oh it's unbelievable you have to experience it like when they talk about virtual reality you could talk about it but until you experience it you will know this is a must play experience if you're a gamer this controller is the best and one of the significant things I could tell y'all about this controller is back in the day, right? If you had like a game on PlayStation and a game on Xbox and stuff like that, people would be like, which, you know, which one you gonna get? Like, what's that difference maker? Is it the graphics? Is it the performance? Like, what is that difference maker that's gonna make you decide to get which version? So in the 360 era, Xbox Live was like that major factor. And also um, Xbox games ran better. The, the multiplayers, they, they ran better. With this controller right here, yo, it don't even matter. Like, the reason why I think more people will get the PlayStation 5 version of games, period, even if the performance is exactly the same on Xbox, this controller is the difference maker, period. Like, because this controller has a, a mic in it, you can, like, you, like, certain times you may have to blow into the mic, pause, to, you know, activate certain things, but then also um you can hear things so let's say you are talking to one of your friends you can talk to them through the controller and like you could be right without the headset or nothing you could talk to them with the, with the controller in your hand and it sounds crisp like you're on a podcast that's how good it sound from here for real like it's crazy and then they could t when they talk to you back you hear them so it's like the like the controller is like a phone this is unbelievable. So, look, I love the controller 
this to me is one of one of if not the most next generation thing you're going to experience in next gen gaming and all the developers is using this so it's not a gimmick they are using it now obviously you have your create button and it works a lot better than it did you know uh than the share button on dualshock um, 4 so uh you can just hold the button down take a screenshot tap it broadcast and it's like all seamless you know within the game experience so this this controller man this is a game changer for real so anybody that's looking to get a playstation 5 that's one thing when you play games on this controller it's over look i'm gonna tell you straight up playstation 5 the games let's talk about it the first game we talk about is spider-man miles morales right now, obviously, this is one of the main reasons why you should get a PlayStation 5. But from the title screen, son, from the title screen, it's over. You see Miles Morales walk up on a train, and you see the fingerprint on the, on the headset. You see the Thames, you know what I'm saying? Like, the joint look crazy. But the moment you start, you, you actually feel the phone. Like, when you get a text or something like that, you feel it in the controller, and it feels exactly like a text. Like I said, it's not just rumble. So, Spider-Man Miles Morales is incredible. The graphics, the music, like the soundtrack, swinging. Like, and that's another thing. When you're swinging, you still feel it with the adaptive triggers and everything. The game is incredible. So, every time I talk about a game, I like to talk about the graphics and the gameplay and the fun factor mainly. That's, like, the main thing I focus on. So, Spider-Man Miles Morales, man. This is one of those games that anybody that, like, comes to your crib... If they ever loved you in life, you show them Miles Morales. Because that's the way you give love back. That's how amazing this game is. So check this out, right? One of the dope things that I experienced in this game is the fact that his venom power, when you like punch him with electricity, there's a part in this game where you get the electricity and you feel it in the controller and it feels like you holding electricity. Like the way they designed it, is ridiculous so i'm excited about the game the story was crazy the um the, the animation is like ridiculous bro and then um another thing that i really like is the fact that you got the spidey verse suit so you could swing around and it has the animated frames of the actual spidey verse in the game like it's unbelievable and i think the story the way it ended Let's just say when Spider-Man 2 come out, I'll, yo, if you're a hardcore Marvel head, you're going to lose your mind. So Spider-Man Miles Morales, you set it off with that. That joint is crazy. Um, Astro's Playroom, just to talk about this game. This is, to me personally, the best experience I've ever had with a launch title game and what i mean by a launch title game i'm talking about from a standpoint of like a mascot so when you think about sega genesis and sonic the hedgehog and when you think about nintendo and mario i love those games grew up on those games still play those games period none of those games can touch the experience that i've had with astro's playroom period i'm telling you right now i know we love to hold on to nostalgia and i know it's just like in hip-hop you know what i'm saying it's like some people feel like nobody will never be able to be better than Biggie or something like that. Nobody can never be better than Tupac. Like, I get that. But I'm keeping it real with you. Like, yo, people, like, you got to move forward. You know what I'm saying? You got to recognize that new talent comes along. Like, new new nostalgia gets born. You understand? And I'm telling you right now, Astro Playroom is one of the best games I've ever played. One of the best experiences that I've had in gaming. Period. Because the way they utilize the controller, the music, like, all the gameplay elements and how it's a ultimate love letter to the 25 years of PlayStation. Period. Astro's Playroom is that, that amazing. So that's that. Now let's go, let's go talk to some third party stuff. So I've been playing a lot of Assassin's Creed. A lot of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. This game is fire. This game is fire. You gotta play it. The combat is crazy, but it's, see to me, it doesn't feel like just a reskin of pre previous assassin creed games you know what i'm saying because you know odyssey you had the male and female you could do all these other things nah it really feels different you know what i'm saying like it has a different ambiance to it like a different aura to it you know you can, yo you can battle rap in assassin's creed it's called flight team but like there's so much stuff you could do in the game 
first thing I want to talk about is the graphics. Like I said, the game looks incredible, but you got to play in quality mode. If you play in performance mode, it still looks great, but quality mode, crazy, right? On the PS5. Um, the, the next thing I would say is the combat. The combat is a lot more cinematic, so I think that's what's going to bring you in more. And the story, the story in this game is crazy. And the reason why is because you have Odin. And that whole, you know, Norse mythology stuff is, yo, the way they do it in that particular game, it brings you in, you know. And they have the order, which is their, like, nemesis system, so to speak, in terms of the people you got to kill. It's crazy. So I love Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I think you're going to like that, too. And um, another game that stood out to me that I think is real crazy is... Um, demon souls now demon souls this is a game that i can't stand i don't like it i feel that like it's dumb the way they have things set up but at the same time the graphics in this game looks amazing uh the gameplay in terms of just the controls is crazy but you know that game is hard so if you want prepare to die over 100 million times but demon souls man for that to be a day one launch title that game is mind-blowing like for real just to look at it it's like yo I'll play it just to look at it, even if you're going to die a lot. That game is powerful. Um, another game, and I'll leave it with this one, Dirt 5. Dirt 5, y'all know how I feel about Drive Club. Y'all know how I feel about Mortar Storm. If Drive Club and Mortar Storm got together and had a baby, Dirt 5 is what that baby is. And Dirt 5 is astounding. The graphics, the gameplay, the sound effects, all of that. And when I mean the sound effects is crazy, they took the, they took like directional sound on the um gravel and on the ice and everything so when you hear the 3d audio in your headsets it takes it, it takes the experience to another level the lighting the weather system all of that man everything you loved about motor storm and drive club is in this game and it's fire so that's just a few games to mention there's a lot more games you know what i'm saying obviously nba 2k21 looks like looks like life you know what i mean and next and next year when they get everybody's face because you know what we're dealing with with covid it's going to blow everything out the water you know when you see it then but right now it's crazy so many games great launch uh yo playstation 5 man like i i i assure you with all my heart and soul when you get your hands on a playstation 5 and you experience these games like i have and it's been pretty much almost a month yo like I said before, this is absolutely, in my opinion, the best system ever. Period. Alright, the system features. I want to talk about the system features. The first thing is 3D audio. Everybody was talking about 3D audio when Mark Cerny had his road to PS5. And at first they was like, audio? Why are we talking about audio? There's a reason why we're talking about audio. So the dope thing about the PS5 is that the 3D audio is not based off like the headset you got. The, it's at the hardware level. So whatever headset you have can benefit from the 3D audio. And as long as that headset is like, you know, of good quality, you'll get the most out of this feature. Listen, I'm telling you right now, like certain games that I've played, like Assassin's Creed, like NBA 2K21, Astro, like Call of Duty. When you play these games and you have 3D audio activated, once again, it's a completely different experience. And what's so crazy about it is that we haven't really seen what PlayStation 5 can do yet. This is just launch. Like, we're not going to really see what these systems can do until like the end of 2021, 2022 already it's incredible and i can only imagine like what like they are working on right now that's going to take it to the next level but 3d audio is definitely a game changer especially competitively when you're playing competitively it plays a major role in how you react to things and where things is at in the locality of everything you can have a raindrop here near you or raindrop all the way over there and you'll know which one is which that's crazy that's gonna change gameplay so that's one system feature that i just wanted to share with y'all 3d audio is real fire second thing uh the share screen while i'm playing the game right 
I can get a friend request, you know, from a friend to share the screen and I can see what they're playing and I can pin it on my game. So I could be playing Sackboy, which is another game. Shoot, I should have mentioned that in the other segment. Sackboy is another game. If you love Astro, you need to play Sackboy. You need to play that game in the way that feels with the controller too. Sackboy is crazy. And I love the fact that it's not like a uh, play, create, share genre is just an adventure game, so you don't gotta worry about building levels. Sack boys fire. But anyway, back to that feature. So, with the system features of PS5, when you are able to share your screen, I could be playing Sack Boy and watching NBA 2K21 at the same time and pin it on the side. So while I'm talking to a friend of mine, I'm seeing what they're doing and they seeing what I'm doing. So think about it. Let's say I got a game that they don't got. You know what I mean? Or, and vice versa. I could like learn so much about the game that a friend of mine got by literally watching them play it while I'm playing my own. That joint is ridiculous. It's crazy. So that's one. Another feature that's incredible, when you hit the PlayStation button and the little command center pop up, I just love how seamless it is. You can just do so much while still in the game. That feature is crazy. It's slick. Everything is fast. Everything. Another thing that I love about um, uh, just to be able to share the screen and stuff like that is if you have trouble. So let's say you're trying to get through a certain part in the game. Like it, this is all if developers make it happen. But for the most part, a lot of developers have been using it. But if I need like a certain walkthrough for a certain part, if I'm lost or something like that, you can go and get that video and they'll show it to you. And then you can just go do it. That's crazy right there that they got game help like that to, to let you know what's going on so you never really ever feel stuck that right there is crazy i love that feature um i love that feature as well um another thing that's cool about uh playstation in terms of their ui is the fact that the playstation store is built in the ui it's not a separate app so even when you're looking at games you want to get and games you want to pick up it's just as fast and seamless as everything else within the um actual user interface it's crazy how snappy it is so that right there is dope um another thing that uh i like about uh playstation 5 this feature right here it surprised me because i didn't think that i would like really like you know care about it like you know like you know use it that much but the actual card system like i love the fact that if i'm playing a game right when i pull up the cards i can just go to that location just like that and it loads up in like five seconds or less you know like it's quick so i thought that was really dope and really different when you push the um, playstation button and you got the cards come up i can just go to wherever i want to go in the game like that right there, that that just instantaneous, like fast travel, so to speak, without even being in the game, it's just done from the UI. I don't I don't know what to do. Like you know, say I don't even know what to say anymore. The features, the games, the graphics, the everything, like literally everything about this system, yo, is fire. And what, the reason why I'm that much more excited is because this is day one stuff I'm telling y'all. This is out the gate. This is what next generation is about. And we're experiencing that joint right now. So yeah, I just wanted to share like some of the features that I really, really like. There's tons more features. You know, you got your HDR. Um, you know, you like it's... PlayStation 5, bro. You, you know what it is. I don't even got to say nothing else, but you know what it is. PlayStation 5, man. Jump on it right now, son. It's fire. All right. So now let's talk about the future of PlayStation 5. We talked about the games. Amazing. We talked about the controller, which is pff, in a league of its own. We talked about some of the features, and there's a ton more features. I just gave y'all, you know, a little bit, but there's a ton more features. Let's talk about the future of PlayStation 5 and what we are about to experience for real. Now, going into the future, y'all know I can't leave out backwards compatibility. So I know y'all probably looking at this video is like, oh, so he's just not going to talk about that. He had this story and 
right now i can't put a ps3 disc in my system and play it and all this other stuff i hear you i'm gonna just say this right from the first time i made the video the first thing i referenced was the cloud david perry what he spoke about in 2013 the abilities of cloud technology we've seen sony do the deal with microsoft to make the transfer from ps3 blades in the um cloud to um azure a lot of things is coming jim ryan said it himself there's a lot of things that we can't talk about because they do have an answer to game pass but they're doing things differently here's what i want to tell y'all real quick there's a dude by the name of jacob stein or jacob stein you know one of those sorry if i you know messed up your name but look up jacob stein sony you know look up jacob stein um he's not with sony anymore but look him up and when you look him up out of everything i already done said about this situation look him up and when you look him up you're gonna see something that he did that we're already experiencing now because we can play playstation 2 games on the ps5 right i could go play dark cloud dark cloud 2 and you know all types of you know ps2 games on playstation 5 right now right okay stay tuned like i told you there's a lot coming there's a lot happening i thought it would have been here day one obviously it's not but like i said i haven't heard anything different it's coming and that new cloud technology all this other stuff it's coming stay tuned for it now backwards compatibility in terms of ps4 ghost of tsushima in 4k 60 frames per second days gone 4k 60 frames per second let me explain something to y'all right now the backwards compatibility in playstation 5 is so crazy well obviously god of war 4k 60 i didn't mention that too but it's so crazy that ps4 titles look like they should be ps5 titles i'm gonna say that again ps4 games look like they should be ps5 games when you play ps4 games on ps5 like it is next level next level last of us 2 all these games like seriously playstation is sort of like a cheat code in the industry right now because in every area at every level they figured out a way to dominate and it's scary on what we're gonna see a couple of years from now. Now, since I said a couple of years uh, years from now, going into the future, let's talk about cloud for real. So, one of the things that I'm hearing that I can pretty much confirm, but I'm hearing this is that the PS Plus and PS Now is gonna be rolled into the same service. PS Collection, all of that stuff. And it'll cost more, but you'll get more. And that's gonna be one of the differences and one of the main ways that they're gonna combat against game pass by having everything rolled into it so just like how you see xbox um ultimate game pass ultimate you'll see something similar to that on the playstation side of things and that's going to be big that's one two playstation vr 2 that's going to be very pivotal there's so many new things that they added to vr that's going to be crazy within the playstation ecosystem I'm talking about smell of vision being able to smell things like all types of stuff the haptics in the vr world all of it all of it is going to be ridiculous in the next between now and like 2022 you're going to see a lot of game changing game breaking things like that that's going to shock you one of the things i want to talk about also is unreal engine there's something that's going to happen with Unreal Engine and PlayStation. I would probably say in around six months. And when they show it, you're going to be like, hold up. Like, this is in-game? This is real? So I'm telling you right now, right now, the future for PlayStation 5 is not just bright. It's scary. Because of the things that they're doing is going to change gaming. It's going to be a big shift from the business side and the user end. It's going to be a big shift. 
the next thing I want to talk about in terms of the future is how games are being developed. So you're going to see a lot more games faster. That's another thing I'm excited about. Because of the development environment, a lot of games or like games, how they used to be developed, used to take so long because of what they're doing. The tools and the things that they have created is going to be a lot quicker to get games out because a lot of things you used to have to do you don't have to do it anymore so it cut a lot of time in terms of development time so we're going to get more games higher quality and it's going to be in more variety play now another thing is playstation 5 has more studios now not just ones that they brought or whatever but things that they secured organically who they put together so get ready there's a ton of stuff that's coming. But between cloud, between um, uh, the, the fusion of PS Now, PS Plus, and getting all that stuff rolled into it, the future of their development tools and what they're using and working on right now, that's what I feel everyone should start getting excited for. And the last thing I'll say is regarding the future of PlayStation 5. There's new features that's coming to PlayStation 5 that I can't even talk about. But one thing I will say is this. This controller right here will have updates. This controller will have updates. This controller, it does a lot more than we than what we already know. It does a lot more, the capabilities, and you're gonna see updates within this controller that's gonna be mind blowing. So on that note, PlayStation 5 is here, it's fire. And once again, it's the best system ever made, in my opinion. And the reason why it's the best system ever made, simply because what this controller does, how fast it is, the features that it has at the system level, and the future of things to come in the way they're pushing their cloud technology in their VR. The combination of all those things and the development teams that they got within their arsenal that's creating games will make PlayStation 5 the best system ever made and the best generation of games that will be created. And also, shout out to Kojima, because Hideo Kojima have a surprise for y'all. And I'm gonna just sit back and smile because I already gave y'all plenty of hints. So you'll see it soon. On that note, it's the one and only hip hop gamer, Logitech G. On your hot 9-7 every day, that's my word. One love and God bless. And we out of here. Peace.